let's recreate this awesome poster using our amazing drawing skills. Yeah, I suck at it. I guess there should be a better way. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can convert any photo into digital art in MS Paint or in fact any other software that you want. So let's get into it. If you want to learn a specific part of this tutorial, then head to the timestamp shown on the screen or refer to the timestamps in the description below. Okay, let's start by creating a UI in Cube Designer. First, we'll be adding three push buttons that is for loading our image, then for saving it, and the third one will basically to start the main painting task. Now, what we'll do is we'll uh, do a horizontal layout. Next, we'll be adding a label. So over here only, our image will be loaded for previewing. Next, we'll be adding two vertical slider. This is basically to control the threshold for our edge detection module. We'll also do horizontal layout for the three of them. Uh, we'll be also adding a horizontal spacer alongside our button so that uh, everything is displayed properly. Next, click anywhere on the screen and do a grid layout. With this, our UI seems to be fine. Let's test it out once. Okay, this looks fine. Next, we'll be changing the variable names of all the widgets. Uh, keep that in mind that this is the name that you'll be using in our Python code as well. Okay, now for the push button, I've changed the name. I'll be doing the same with the uh, vertical sliders as well. Okay, now once our variable name is changed, I'm also gonna add an image in the text label. So basically in the pix map field, we can have a predefined image that will pop up as soon as our UI runs. So you can choose any file that you want. Okay, now with this, uh, we'll test our code one more time. Yeah, so the UI seems to be fine. Let's move on to the next step. So for the next part, we'll basically be creating a Python file where we have saved our design. Next, we'll be importing all the important uh, PyQt related dependencies and I'll be pasting the code from my previous tutorial of uh, including the main designer file you can check out that tutorial i will give the link in the description once we build this code you can see our designer is perfectly running fine in our python code now let's start making changes in it okay so now first let's start with uh, adding a basic variables like file name temporary and the threshold that we'll be using okay next we'll be defining all the signal and slots uh, first we'll add the signal and slot for our push button and uh, define the relevant functions first we'll write the load image function we'll first uh, use the queue dialog box to in, to get the file name and check whether it's a valid entry or not we'll also import cv and then finally read the image Next, we'll be setting this particular image 
in our pixel map. For that, we'll be writing a function set photo. This will be taking image as an input. Okay, so first we'll be storing our image in the temp variable and then resizing that particular image and converting it format from BGR to RGB. Then basically we'll be converting our frame into Q image and setting it into the label using set map function. If we build it then it's showing an error. Okay, so we actually forgot to define the save image function. So for now let's define it. Okay, now let's build it. Click on the load button and uh, select any image that you want. Okay, yeah, perfect. So we are able to resize our image and also display properly. Next, we'll be adding signal and slot for our sliders. This will be uh, whenever our value changed then this particular functions will be called now let's define those function first will be threshold value 1 and uh, as an input we'll be giving value similarly for threshold 2 Okay, so for now, we'll be storing this value in a variable and printing it out. Let's test it once. Okay, there seems to be an error. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is a simple fix. Now, if we change the slider, you can see the correct values are getting printed out okay so with this our ui is now completed okay so now let's move on to the next step that is processing our image in this we'll basically use opencv to process the image in such a way that we are able to paint it properly in the paint first we'll be importing all the libraries that is for now time and cv2 then we'll be creating a class called process image. We'll first write the init function. Next will be to load the image. We'll take image as an input over here. Over here, you can see I'm copying the image and not storing the same variable. Next, we'll be taking out the height and width. Now we'll be writing two functions. First will be for pre-processing and the other one will be for edge detection. So for the pre-processing, what we'll be doing is first we'll be converting our color image into grayscale and then blurring the image so that uh, the edge detection module works much more better and we won't be getting a lot of noise. Next, we'll be doing edge detection. In, in the edge detection, we'll simply use uh, cv 2 canny function and give the default threshold values. Uh, in the main file, first we'll be importing our process image class. Then we'll be initializing this process image class over in the init function. Now in the load image, once we do im read, we'll also pass it to our process image load function. Now every time we change our threshold, what we'll do is basically update uh, the image. So for that we'll be writing a function called update. Now first we'll be verifying whether we have uh, selected an image or not. Then what we'll do is we'll set the photo again with the new uh, refresh image function that we'll be writing 
So the refresh image function will be taking in threshold 1 and 2 as input and we'll again use the canny filter to find the edges and return it to the main function. Okay, now we'll test the code. As I'm moving the slider, the image is also changing perfectly fine. Okay, so one more thing that you observe is we are giving default threshold value as 30 and 50 but that is not the case so we'll have to change it in our designer over here if you scroll down then there will be an option where you can set it parameters so for example minimum maximum step size value etc first of all we'll be changing the value to the 30 that is our default value then we'll be changing our step size to 10 and uh, also changing the maximum value to 200. For the second slider also you can change in similar fashion. Just save it. Now let's test the code again. Okay now you can see over here the sliders are showing at correct value. Till now we have covered how you can create a new UI and process that image using OpenCV to match what you need to draw in paint. In the next video, we'll discuss how you can leverage PyAuto GUI for painting our image that we have just processed in the paint. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload the second video, you will get notified. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share it with your friends.